How you doing? What, what, what show are we on? Truth is viral. The truth is viral, people. So uh, take two penicillins and call me in the morning. You're watching The Truth is Viral, the only news program on the internet trusted to deliver the truth since 2008. And now, here's your host, Mr. Bobby Powell. Okay, so I did a thing the other day. I went down to Lansing, Michigan, where they were having a protest against Governor Gretchen Whitmer's tyrannical executive orders. They called it hashtag Judgment Day. Also, hashtag Stand Up Michigan. Participants braved the elements. It was thunderstorming when I got there. They had their signs, they had their American flags, they had their megaphones, and everybody was in a great mood. It was a great time ahead by all. And I'm here to tell you, folks, there's one fella, awesome, it's Pikachu! Pikachu! I love you, man! <laughs> this is great! I told you, folks, we always have a good time. Pikachu's rocking the AR pistol. And there's Dooku. Uh, duck you. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. What's your name? We had the young hippies. We had the old hippies. One thing that we all agreed on is that uh, Pikachu would be a better governor. <laughs> I'd vote for the duck. I, I'd vote for Pikachu. I even got up to say my piece. I'm not here today, especially for politics. I'm here today because people are dying! You can go into a sex shop in Alpena and buy a butt plug, but you can't go to Walmart and buy seeds for your garden! I can't go to the hospital and have pulmonary therapy twice a week, like I'm supposed to! I lost my left lung in December to pneumonia of all things! But I can't get the treatment that I need. Gretchen Whitmer doesn't care if you live or die. On the way home, I got to thinking about the fam at GLP, and wouldn't they like to see an interview with the Patriot Barber in Owasso, Michigan, by the name of Carl Mank? So I went to Carl Mankey's barber shop and, and salon, and, and I saw these uh, fellas out there, the Michigan militia standing guard. Horns are honking all over the place. And I went in to meet Carl Mackey. You guys wouldn't believe where I'm at. Well, I'll tell you, you know, I came into this barber shop alone. A week and a half. Monday morning. You know, I'm uh, I'm sure that I'm what I'm doing is right. I mean, I'm positive what I'm doing is right. But I needed courage, you know, to, to, that old serenity prayer. I prayed that thing all the way to work. God, give me the courage to do these things. Give me the courage that I need to, to do the right thing here. And it's come. I mean, it's just come overwhelming, overwhelming support that I've had. I can't believe it. You know, I just know. I mean, can you imagine yourself being thrown into the national eye? I can't. And all, you're, you had, all you wanted was just to work. Do your job. Just do your job. I'm an ordinary guy. I go home and, you know, I'm an ordinary person. I'm not sure I'm an ordinary person. Well, God bless you. Thank you. Mr. Mankey, my name is Bob Powell. I publish a news program in Alpena oh. called The Truth is Viral. Oh. And I also uh, contribute to WCHY in Sheboygan, oh, radio okay. station, 97.7. Carl, you're going to be a very happy yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to, you know, thank you on behalf of everybody in Michigan for standing up to this. It's, it's just unconscionable what's happening to you. It is. You have become an inspiration to everybody. I hope so. I, just, I hope. I hope I have. I hope I have. I hope they quit hiding behind their barber chairs and start in beauty chairs and start coming out and, you know, being bold, being courageous. It's the right thing. They know it's the right thing to do, but they're frightened. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. People well, are frightened because of the intimidation of this, of this government. We, right now we have, and we have uh, right now, it, it, we've entered into a point now where if they take my license without a hearing, 
That's police action. That's a police state. That's correct. But I was talking with uh, Randy Bishop this morning. He's the, my boss over at uh, WCHY in, in Sheboygan. And he was telling me that there's a legal theory that you've had your license for so long, or you've been practicing as a barber for so long, you don't even need a license. I didn't know that. Have you heard that? No. No? No, I've never heard that. No, I've never heard that. I'm sure the state isn't going to grant you. If they can get some tax money out of you, they're going to do it. So. Well, I guess it's kind of like a grandfather clause or something well, like that. I've never heard that. But, you know, I'll take it, <laughs> well, you you've know. never been in this situation I'm before. I hope it, I hope that's the case. Yeah. Because wouldn't that well, be great to be able to live out your life and not have to pay another sure. cent in taxes and fees? <laughs> with or without it, with or without it, I'm going to continue to work. If, if they come in and win there, you know, whatever they come in with, which I'm sure they're, they're the only way. I, I, the news is telling me that I'm, I have no uh, no license. I haven't heard anything from the state. The state hasn't contacted me that I don't have a license. Yeah. You know, so yeah. until the state contacts me, telling me I don't have a license, I obviously have one. I mean, so my Argus Press down here, my, my hometown newspaper, Hi. They, they, they lied. I can't believe it. I mean, I've lived in this town uh, practically my entire life. We moved here when I was nine years old, back in 1951. And they lied and said that my attorney told them that my license had been suspended. My attorney never told them any such thing. Yeah, well... It, it yeah, I've, I've been a journalist for over 30 years. I have never seen anything like the yellow journalism that's being spewed out today. I, I guess maybe they want that agenda. Oh, they do. They're trying to scare the crap out of people because it's about control. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. I, I, I can't believe I was so disappointed when I read the paper. <laughs> That they said that I had lost my license and my attorney had told them that. Um, oh, that's not true. Bill? I haven't. The state. The only way they can suspend my license is if they come in and tell me somebody from the state gives me the papers and say I no longer have a license. And if they do that, that then is the, the beginning with no hearing. That's mm -hmm. a police state action. That's right. No hearing. No representation. You're you're done. Police state action. So if that happens today, which who knows could, you know, I'll have to stop for that moment, regroup, and determine, you know, at what at that point, you know, what I'm going to do. So right. then I'll have some attorneys that will come forward and take a look at that. But right now, I have no attorney that's that said anything to them about that. Mm -hmm. So that's a bold-faced lie. I can't believe my own my newspaper, my hometown newspaper here, would would do something. Like that. And they've printed it twice, you say? They printed twice yesterday and today. The headlines, you know, that there's a know, wherever the paper is around here someplace. But the headlines are, you know, that I've uh, my my license has been suspended. Mm -hmm. Now I'm still cutting hair. Uh, Yeah, I'm really sorry for everything that's happened to well, you, and I'm grateful to you and thankful that you're the kind of man that would stand up and not bow to this kind no, of tyranny. I'm not bow to this. No, absolutely. Yeah. No, that old serenity prayer. You know, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change those things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You know, I've gotten the courage, and now you know I'm in the wisdom part. From here on, I've got to you know I'll calculate it. I'm not going to give up. No. I'm not quitting. But I'll calculate. You know, I don't want to make mistakes. I'll let the governor make the mistakes. They've already shot themselves in the foot. Yeah, she's making a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. So I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot. Right. You know, I'll take a pause for a minute, you know, and see what happens. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, for your time. I really thank do you, appreciate you, that you took you. it. Yeah, thank you very much. God bless you, yeah, sir. You bet. You also. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral, everybody. My name is Bobby Powell, and as always, God bless, Semper Fi, I rock. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth is Viral. Like The Truth is Viral on Facebook, and if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com.